What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck. And Jason Whitlock gives excruciating truth on Angel Reese riding Kaitlyn Clark's coattail and why this Rookie of the Year debate has now backfired on her. Make sure you guys get in here, subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. Thumbs up, like the video. Let's go. Angel Reese is actually paying the cost at this moment from attaching her brand to Caitlin Clark's brand. If Angel Reese were disconnected from mm. Caitlin Clark and we just evaluated Angel Reese off of her performance without comparing it to Caitlin Clark, without having this ridiculous rookie of the year conversation, we'd all be sitting here saying like, man, what a great rebounder. And guys, is this not the truth? What have I constantly told you guys that Angel Reese knows how to stay relevant by marketing herself and staying close or excuse me staying attached to caitlin clark if it were not for this moment this iconic moment she did the john cena in the ncaa women's championship and pointed to her ring finger right if it were not for that moment that was an iconic moment that is going to be a part of uh women's college basketball for the rest of the existence of history okay but if it were not for that, Angel Reese would be a non-factor. I don't think that people understand this. You guys don't think that there are... There, let's just be honest, okay? Kayla Clark is phenomenal generational talent. But there are several other women in that league who are black. Let's just be honest. Who are better than Angel Reese. You don't think if they had any chance or the opportunity to do what Angel Reese did that they wouldn't be in the same predicament, the same situation as Angel Reese. Angel Reese actually did something very smart by attaching herself to Caitlin Clark in that moment. And Caitlin Clark then and now still handles Angel Reese the same way. You see, Angel Reese does a great job of making a lot of noise and drawing attention to her, right? Right? Kayla Clark, stoic, does not say anything. She didn't say anything in college. She isn't saying anything in the pros because she knows what Angel Reese is trying to do, right? And Jason Whitlock makes a phenomenal point when he says that she is suffering from being attached to Kaylin Clark. And not only does Jason Whitlock think this, so does Angel Reese. It all started from the national championship game. I've been dealing with this for two years now. And understanding like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me, but honestly, I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball, but you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas, like just because of one single game. And just looking at that, like I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down in history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, <laughs> yeah, the reason why we watch watching women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me too. And I want y'all to Okay, so I'm oh, sorry, guys. Sometimes it's just hard for me to get past this because, damn, slow down. Shit. Like, <laughs> like we get it. Like, I'm sorry. Angel Reese fans out there, listen, y'all know that this shit is funny, right? Some of y'all are probably going to be too like this, so y'all don't want to laugh. But let's, let's, just, let's just start here, okay? Angel Reese saying stuff like this. When it's time for the rookie of the year, the award, people are going to say, okay. You bought this upon yourself. You said that it wasn't just because of her. It was because of you too. So now we must judge you off your basketball play. We must compare, you know, because it's just two of y'all, right? It's really because of Kaylin. But now since you said it's because of you, let's cross-examine. Now people are zeroing in on your playing style. Now people are accusing you of stat padding, which is what, let's be honest, which is what she's doing. A lot of people are allowing you to be the villain. And you still are not happy because you really don't want to be the villain. You don't. But you have to be the villain. You have to stay attached to Kayla Clark. Uh, I saw the Reese's deal. Kudos. Congratulations, man. That's a that's a big ups, man. Like big, big congratulations to Angel Reese on that. And companies are smart. They know that you're going to be relevant and invest in you because they know that you're now that you got this Reese's pieces, excuse me, this Reese's money right now you have to live up to it so i won't be surprised guys i plan on making a video about angel reese making a barbie night uh when she faces caitlin clark i hope that you know she shows up 
In fact, I want to see how competitive she's going to be uh, going against Kaitlyn Clark. And I do believe since she just, you know, it, all these endorsements, they are paying you for the long run too. So you have to stay relevant. I would not be surprised if Kaitlyn Clark catches a hard foul in this game from injuries. Simply would not. But let's go back to Jason Whitlock's point. Defensive player, uh, Angel Reese is, man, if, if someone could just help her figure out how to perform offensively, man, she's going to be a real impact player in the WNBA. Now, let me piggyback off this real quick, uh, because a lot of people who don't watch uh, women's sports or sports in general, and they just go off of identity politics, they like to come into the comment section and say, all we do is talk about Kayla Clark. But just like Jason Whitlock just said here, she needs to work on her offense, man. It's a flick uh, that, that that goes in, apparently. Like, she just flicks it up. It's no finishing touch. It's very sloppy at the rim. She's great energy, impact player, offensive rebounds, offensive putbacks. I am not taking that from injuries. But let's just be honest. Like most people will ask, who would you genuinely, guys? Like, seriously, you are the... Uh, owner of a franchise organization uh, or you you are the gm your job depends on this your fan base depends on this and your fans internally feed the organization who would you rather go with angel reese or kayla clark seriously not an emotional move out of just strictly business i mean for me it's easy business and emotionally like kayla clark like why not it's a no-brainer for me see when you put stuff in context like that it makes people really really think long and hard which is a no-brainer for me i don't have to think that hard but jason whitlock is telling the flat out truth uh a angel reese got in her own way has she kept it private and by private i mean just play her game for her a lot of people would sing her praise but it's kind of hard to sing her praise when we have to compare her to such a phenomenal talent and that is caitlin clark right we we it's inevitable because you wanted to be attached to her. You do the things necessary. I'm quite sure you have a PR team. Angel Reese has some type of PR team that tells her, hey, you got to be the villain. We saw with the Reeboks she wrote, uh, she wore the, the Joker shoes. And we're going to see how this Barbie night, this theme Barbie night, I'll be making a video about that. I will try. Where Angel Reese is saying that she wants everybody in Chicago to show up and wear their best pink to support Barbie theme. Now, Ranger, Angel Reese is very good at sometimes playing the black girl card, right? I just find it ironic, man. Like, you guys help me. I find it ironic that Angel Reese likes to call herself a Barbie when the first Barbie was white, Caucasian. I mean, so make your mind up. Like, you, 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 people like to say, or sometimes she likes to cry as wolf, and you know, it's not just because of her, it's because of me. Uh, she's getting treatment because she's white, but you literally are looking up to a white Barbie doll. That's just food for thought, okay? This is a, a debate, not trying to make it a debate. Maybe I'll make a video on it. Like, I'm confused. But let's see how Shy, uh, Shy Town Barbie, Shy Barbie uh, shows up against Kaylin Clark. Of course, you guys know I'm going for Kaylin Clark. I'm going to be super excited uh, to see this matchup. But uh, that's what I wanted to get, get at in this video, man. Uh, and that's just Jason Whitlock proving these points on how Andrew Reeves uh, has pretty much ruined herself in the rookie of the year debate in the award by attaching herself to such a generational talent that is literally overshadowing her you guys let me know what y'all think about this guys please jump into the comment section i'm quite sure uh the angel reese kelly clark seems to never die out so i would love to hear all of your opinions guys thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel guys thumbs up like the video and i will see you in the next one peace yeah